Hello everybody, British Bob here. Today we're in Bikini Bottom. But it doesn't look as though anyone is home. And the Krusty Krab's quiet. Where is everyone? Ah, uh, here's Spongebob and Patrick. They went to the Goofy Goober last night, had too many ice creams, and they woke up and they don't know where they are, how they got here, or how they're gonna get home. Oh dear, and here we have Mr. Krabs realising Spongebob won't be in today and no money will be going through the tills. It's a very sad day for everyone in Bikini Bottom. Well, okay, almost everyone. Well boys, you're in luck. I just so happen to have... A pirate ship in the toy room to help you get home. Isn't she beautiful and not a single scratch on her? Speaking of scratches, Patrick, I heard what a total mess you'd made of the Flying Dutchman's boat. So a quick lesson before you leave. Aim at where you're going with the bowsprit, turn the wheel to move the boat, hit the bell if you feel bored, and Spongebob, you take the crow's nest. And so Patrick and Spongebob set off to try and find their way back to Bikini Bottom. Patrick was sure he knew where he was going, but he got lost. So lost in fact that he ended up sailing straight into pirate infested waters. You'd have hoped his shipmate may have been some use up in the crow's nest, but he was facing the wrong way the whole time and looking out the back of the boat. So here we find our heroes nestled between the Jolly Roger and Bucky. Ahoy Jay, good to see you again. Any chance you could provide some covering fire at the Jolly Roger to enable our safe passage? <laughs> Great! Fire your water cannons when ready, Captain. Oh dear, Captain Hook has seen us and he's pointing his water cannon straight at us. This looks bad. Really, really bad. Hold on tight, SpongeBob. Incoming! <laughs> Quick, Patrick. Go, go, go! Thanks for trying to save us, Jake. See you another time. Smile you later, Captain Hook. Right, we're now approaching the second pirate ship. Let's hope they're a little friendlier. Ah, it's the Tommy Aquafun Pirate Bath Ship. These guys should be okay, they're suitable for ages 18 months and over. Oh look, we've got the captain there with his arm in the air waving. His rather friendly looking octopus shipmate. Ah, and there lies the rub, a fully loaded cannon. Batten down the hatches! Uh, we're not doing very well here, are we boys? But you do realise that you can squirt water and defend yourselves. Oh wait, what are you doing? No, no, not each other. The pirates. Patrick. Spongebob. Oh, I give up with you two sometimes. Well, while you boys have been busy, the third and final ships come into view. And don't worry, there isn't a single water cannon or cannon in sight. It's Grandad Dog, Danny Dog and Peppa Pig. Ahoy there. Yes, we're fine, just a scratch. Nothing that won't buff out or a bit of teacup can't solve. Enjoy the rest of your day on the water and see you in a toy unboxing video very soon. Okay guys, let's just be serious a minute and drop anchor. Right, now I have good news and bad news. The good news is that the flag at the back of the boat has somehow managed to survive. The bad news is we're drifting at sea with no food or water and no idea where we are. So Patrick, can you open the main hatch, go down the steps into the hold, have a good rummage around and see if you can find anything? Okay Patrick, you said things are really looking bad, just give it to me straight. So you found a treasure chest full of gold doubloons, a map of how to get back to Bikini Bottom, a bottle of tomato ketchup, and that the boat has a huge V8 engine under the bed. Patrick, do you know what this means? No, it doesn't mean we'll have to ration the bottle of tomato ketchup between the three of us. I've had a look at the map, and with this engine, we can be home and eating Krabby Patties by lunch. <laughs> wait, wait, slow down, I think I've seen something familiar. I don't know about you, but that looks like a field of jellyfish. Could one of you pass me the telescope? Hmm. It's got to be around here somewhere. Yes. Oh, it can't be. Yes, it can. It's Bikini Atoll. Hug it out, boys. You deserve it. You may have made some mistakes, but we somehow found our way back here. Follow me. Let's go home. Thank you. 
and so our heroes made it back to the Krusty Krab in one piece. SpongeBob was happy. He was back in the kitchen doing what he loves. Frying Krabby Patties for the people of Bikini Bottom and be the most grossly underpaid employee of the century. As for Patrick, he was happy, especially his tummy, and he bought one, two Krabby Patties and fries for the chest of gold doubloons. He's not the sharpest tool in the box. And obviously Mr. Krabs was happy. He got his fry chef back, money coming in through the front door, and more gold doubloons than he knew what to do with. So everyone in Bikini Bottom was smiling. Okay, maybe not everybody. And remember those pirates? Well, they had the last laugh. Those gold doubloons weren't really gold doubloons. They were chocolate coins. So maybe Patrick didn't have such a bad deal after all. Silly old Mr. Krabs. And as for me, I'm happy. I got home in time for my cup of tea. Oh, and just one thing. Never lend Patrick or SpongeBob a boat. Thank you all again for watching and see you soon. Toodlepip.